well, you know, we're fond of saying the, the most inexpensive Italian sports car. That's true. It's uh, certainly a lot cheaper than a Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> They, they make us wear these head condoms, which, okay, it's not so great, but here's my prediction for this track time. A little bit of, a little bit of, what, and then a lot of, what, 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 what. it's going to be good. Roman went out with the engineer that helped tune this car for America. Check it out. we got 160 horsepower. How much power can you put through those front wheels before it gets out of control? How much more can you chip this thing for? <laughs> I'd love to. I'd love to know firsthand the answer to that question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've we've played a little bit, and you know, we uh, the nice thing about turbo cars is you can uh, you can always turn the wick up a little bit. Um, we think our customers are going to be really very pleased with the 1.4 turbo as it is with 160 horsepower. Uh, you know, there there will always be people who want to do an upgraded powertrain uh, by a calibration or maybe bigger turbo, and and historically Chrysler has always been. Very very supportive of that with our Mopar Stage 1 kits, so I, I think you know it would be reasonable to look for things like that in the future. Yeah, you brought out a car, the Venom, right, and that had 200 horsepower, so that's going to tear the front wheels off. No, no, you know, one of, the, one of the great things about this chassis is it's how planted it is. Even with one and a half degrees of negative camber at the front axle, which is pretty aggressive, um, it's got equal length half shafts, and so what that does is it, it keeps the car really uh, very stable under acceleration. Is There's no torque steer to speak of. And, uh, and it really helps you get a, a strong drive off the corner. I remember my friend had a, a GLH, goes like hell. I don't know if you remember that, maybe oh, before yeah. your time. But that car, you know, at that time had a lot of torque steer. Yeah, step on the gas and change lanes. Yeah. And the only question is which way are you going to go? Exactly. So, so how much do the electronics aid in that today? So um, I, I guess the best, the best metaphor to talk about this is uh, to build a strong, a good house, you have to build it on a strong foundation. So um, a car can be great with the electronics on, and uh, that car is probably great with the electronics off. A car that's just okay with the electronics on might be a basket case with them off. But uh, basically when we set out to do this program, we started off saying the, the raw chassis tuning, the powertrain tuning, you know, everything's got to be strong. And then we superimpose on top of that things like the TTC system, the torque transfer control. Um, the TTC system is something actually we've spent a lot of time tuning on racetracks. So in a situation like right now, second gear going onto the straight, you step into the power, and some cars will start, some front wheel drive cars, they'll start spinning that inside front wheel. You don't get a very good drive off the corner. This one just applies a little bit of brake on that inside front wheel, kills the wheel spin, and gets you reduced understeer and much better drive off the corner. All right, so here's the funny thing. We just did a, a zero to 60 acceleration test with this car directly against the Mini Cooper. And uh, it was crazy because they were 0.1 second apart. So this one was 7.7 uh, and the, I think the Mini was 7.6. And that has a lot to do with driver, but were you benchmarking the Mini when you went you know, for this car or were you just building its own kind of deal? So in Europe where this car uh, started its life, specifically I'm talking about the Abarth here, yep. um, there, there's just a mess of A-segment hot hatches, right? Yep. It's a it's a really popular popular segment there. Uh, not so much here, right? And and the Mini Cooper is a B segment car, right? It's a larger car. Uh, it's a it's a more expensive car, but um, certainly certainly we like to we like to perform well relative to our competition. And, and I think the car makes a very good case for itself. It's different, um, but I think it's a I think it's a very strong competitor. I love that engine. Though. How long did you spend on tuning that? Well, you or know, is that is that just the engine? Uh, the engine, it's again, man, yeah. to, to build a good house, you got to start with a strong foundation. So the engine has a lot to do with it. Um, I'm really glad you say that because, frankly, uh, the team, especially the, the exhaust team and the powertrain calibration team, I, I tell you what, man, they uh, they had some sleepless nights on the exhaust note. We, we tried, um, boy, probably 12 or 14 different muffler tunings before we had the great idea, which was, let's just take it off and see what it sounds like. <laughs> so... <laughs> So actually, the, the sound that you're that you're hearing and that you're liking, yeah. uh, the Whoa. car actually, sorry, a little That's bit right. of a dip there. That's right, yeah. <laughs> uh, the car that you, the sound that you like so much, the car actually doesn't have a muffler really to speak of. It's it's got a you know it's got the housing and it's just a straight pipe in there and um, it's completely legal, passes all the uh, required certification, but it sure lets you know when you're uh, tromping on it. Having driven both 
on the road and on the track in the new Fiat Abarth. If you were to ask me what my favorite part is, I'd have to say it's the engine note. It's just fantastic. Don't like the name because I still have a hard time saying it. And yes, coming down the straightaway, that's my man Nathan flogging it to within an inch of its life. Listen to that engine note. It's fantastic. As always, this is Roman reporting for TFLcar.com. 95 down the straightaway. Yep. That's great. It's good fun. And what's really surprising is a lot of cars have sport buttons, but this one actually works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep, we, you know, uh, a lot of people do drive mode select, sport, whatever, um, but but we, we when we started architecting the program, we said, okay, what do you what do you really want? And, and we, we thought we need to move these modes really far apart, right? 